Greetings, hello, welcome back to more Long War of the Chosen. And we are having a bit of a retaliation here today. So, um, I think this is our first post-chosen retail. So, retaliation mission without any chosen presence. So, we have the full complement of 20 enemies on the map. Interestingly enough, we're not getting an instant activation here from our rebels. That that last zoom over to the left was a little bit weird. Um, right. We do have a scientist here, which is of course not really helping the rebels. Um, and we've got a bunch of people here. Let's see, you have resilience. I think most of them have at least call weapons. There's one one mech weapons. One mech weapons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's good English here today. Good English day. Um let's have a look at the map. So we're a fair bit away, and this building is in the way for our sniper to support this. Um, and we also need to make sure that, that our squad is not running into anything too recklessly. In movimento. That side seems to look uh, seems to look clear. I think I need to. I think I need to stealth somebody here, to do a little bit of scouting to that side here. The problem is I don't have anyone with reduced detection range, so maybe. Except myself, but then I don't have much mobility left this turn anyway. So I think we're gonna go with. Renata. And I might even throw Stealth Protocol all the way over there on one of the Rebels to scout around in their building. Not finding anything here. Got some civilians here, which... Ah, of course, I was like, oh, I don't have detection tiles here because I don't have stealth. Um, well, you know what? We've got the building here, we've got the high fence here, so um, I think we can just. We even see in this direction. Let's, on it. let's get a move on here. Now, in theory, Rebecca can teleport all the way to the other side of the map, right? Um, I don't think that's a great idea. I'm just just putting that out there. Right, let's find one of our rebels um, with an SMG. I know the I think the guy on there on the device there had a subcoiler. That allows us to do a little bit of scouting over here. We have a... Oh, this is a one-story one building, so no upper floor we can reach it to. Strictly business. My kind of trouble. That's already kind of scary. Liga elite gunner, necromancer elites, all that kind of stuff. Is there any way we could actually get line of sight here? Okay. So once we're inside the building, maybe even from up here.
I mean, they, they will move, right? I don't have to right, really find a, find a blue move spot. On your order. That, that's something I actually wanted to avoid. Um, well, I guess I didn't. So yeah, um, it looks like we can at least take cover towards those guys. I don't think I, I trust that fully though. I think I trust that spot and maybe that spot. That way, come on. All right, let's have you move. You move the there. Position. All right. You take cover behind the device. Let me let me finish that here, please. Game. Um, you move to the Headed door with that shotgun. Moving to Overwatch. Right. Overwatch, Hunker. Game, yeah, please. I think I want to smoke a lot of this up. Well, you know, he, he, she's in stealth anyway, so let's just smoke here with the group to the right. Clever. Yeah. Got it covered. In my sights. Bring them on. Okay. So far, so good. Moving. Let's get the the rest of the squad moving up here. Affirmative. I am. I'm yelling. I'm yelling at you. Yelling. Yelling. Can you hear me? Yelling. Everything on the map is in yellow alert. So, like, yelling civilians are not great, but they're not crippling. They're not gonna gonna <laughs> screw me over here. Hopefully. Couldn't take a hint, could you? Also the device. Now, I don't mind if we lose the device, that's not the end of the world, right? Well, I guess nothing here. Losing anything here is the end of the world. We do have... Um, we do have 20 rebels. We have the HQ assault revealed in this region. So we don't need intel. We do have rebels to, to make up for it. Losing a scientist sucks a little bit, but it's also not the end of the world. But, you know, it's, it's about the principle, right? So, first question is, where can we grapple? We can grapple up here. Does that give us any shots on those guys? No. What about over here? Yeah, we do have a shot on that guy. Might be not. Okay, let's have a quick quick count here. So this is five guys. I think. And we've got five guys active. So we probably have another group somewhere here. And I think somewhere in this area. Um... So I guess there's two approaches to this, right? I can snipe here, try to help the rebels a little bit. 
or I could try to take snipe this group. Which I do have clear line of sight to, which would then allow me to forward with the whole squad more aggressively in order to engage this next turn. I think that's the better plan. So maybe maybe we just start it off here. There. Yeah. yeah, you know what? Okay, let's let's do that. I wanna wanna be on a high ground so I can steady for next turn. Or probably just continue moving. Just hope activating. I don't think the drone has enough movement to review me here. So now let's just, just activate, take a double tap on the Rave Commando. It's like a clean death. Target eliminated. Yeah, I was not expecting that. Kind of ran away in the other direction. Understood. Moving out. What does that work here? So I do have my second shot from double tap, and I have my move from death from above. So can I actually move and then take the second double tap shot? Yeah, kind of looks like as if I had um, running gun action available. So I guess we move over here then. Yeah, we could then take a long range shot. Oh, I thought I saw that that guy here. The Necromancer lead. Just gotta make sure that we actually have a line of sight on him with anyone. Because that could be the issue. Yeah, no, we do see him. Apparently we don't have line of sight, okay. I would also command you... I think I was checking from up here, not from this spot. Maybe it's just best to take the 100% here on the drone. Get rid of it. Done. Target neutralized. Steady that. Okay. Now, I'm kind of wondering, so we know from the past that we can do some, some crazy shit here with Rebecca, being able to teleport anywhere on the map I've done a side to, unmovable server range for free actions, I could boost her up with some teamwork extra actions, um, maybe even command her.
and like mess up all of that in the back here. Even find a good spot where we could no lands. Let's say we teleport behind this rock here. We should be able to find a no lands that hits this necromancer, this necromancer, and the beleaguer. We should be flanking, well, pretty much all of them. We have the X throw. Let's just make sure we give you some support for that. Positive. That support probably also involves uh, good old rapid shielding. You get one. Not gonna tap through that. We're gonna just gonna take the the icons here. Yeah? Maybe you. Yeah. I wish there was a mod that replaced this with like the class specific icons. That would be phenomenal. All right, let's pop this. And give you an extra action like that. I think I want to give you at least one teamwork action. Question is, do I give her a second one? Kind of means I'm stuck a little bit behind here with the tricks. On the other hand, every action I have over there gives me a little bit more safety. I am ready to resurrect you. Now, I'm not sure I can actually teleport here right now. I can teleport there. But I don't actually have line of sight to this square, so I need to see if I can improve my line of sight a little bit. Six actions. Okay. Uh, still not. Still not good enough. I'm going that way. Jenkins. It's a weird way to take out the whole window. Okay, that also gives me much better vision here. Uh, don't 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 zoom over there. Bonjour. Oh, I don't have a, a flank on the beleaguer. Okay, and I don't have line of sight on the trooper. And that's fine. Um, maybe. Okay, you're the only one. I confuse. Well. To avoid any sort of confusion. I did way less than I wanted it to do. Um, yeah, let's take an insanity on that guy. As we can. Nick, wonderful. You hold that for a second. Boys. Action count says four. Let's see how much damage we're doing here. Yeah, we kind of 
This does way more. But obviously this is kinda kinda turn ending. Well we can premonition then. So maybe we take two shots at you. Which makes you kinda dead. Gives me an extra shot from thousands to go. Straight into you. Right, then I'll once at once. Of your face. I'll take that. Okay. The munition. Reload. Okay, Suddenly we have a flank on this guy also. Alright, this is I don't know. Psy Bayonet, not the most amazing skill in our arsenal. Um, Alright, I guess we just shoot you and hope the rebels can finish you off. I should be able to do the job. Hostile neutralized. Okay, uh, fantastic. That leaves us just with one angry pathfinder. Yeah, what we can do against him. Can't reach the flashbang. We have a 5% chance of hitting that guy. Not convinced that that's our best approach here. Got one right here. I mean, he's also kind of a little bit under pressure from, from Spana up there, right? Do you actually see him? No. Hmm. But he used to have much more friends at the start of the turn. So that's that's definitely something that should give us some uh, peace of mind. What's over there? Oh, all right. So you just chill. Chill. I kind of want to shred some armor on that muton, but I don't like that the tree is being highlighted. I know the chance of actually destroying the tree is really low. It's really low. But really low is not what keeps your people alive. That's not a great angle. We gotta get past these guys. Yeah, anyone getting an alert here? What in damage on a yellow alert shot? Holy crap.
What are you doing with your 18 mobility? Okay. I'm all right. Um, that might actually enable me to join the party here a little bit more aggressively. Uh, first of all, let's let's see what kind of snapshots we have. 87 on that elite pathfinder over there. Taking it. It hit the plate. Didn't get the crit, but hit him hard enough to to make him think twice. Stata here yeah, is bad news. I think we take the the Titan Strike for the free move. Which then allows us to take a run and slice. Just pass that guy. Get this mute on here. Yeah, just just gonna take the shadow melt here. Easy two kills for no lands, but I kind of kind of want to see something else. Um, do something else with my first action. Let's go there. See if we can maybe destroy a little bit of that fancier to get Lana side on the destroyer devastator. It destroys some of the fans. Okay. 82 insanity. Um, can I actually get the no lands from where I'm standing? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. A panic on him. That's nice. They can easily get a flank on me, but I think with all the extra armor I have. Be okay. It was, it was indeed. Kind of concerned again, as I said, the last group is probably somewhere in that area. So, Are we moving out? I'm making love! make sure we have cover from that side. You're looking. You're still looking like you. We can actually escape through this window without being revealed. Do something like that. Give us some scouting on that side of the building. Cool. Is it clear? Now, even disoriented, they will have 100% chance to hit the device, right? That's kind of... Uh, we can't rely on that surviving here. Okay. 
I mean, that's that's kind of too inviting here. Right, I think I'm down to pretty much two or three actions. Like that guy, but I don't think that's gonna gonna end end well for me. Understood. Moving out. This is for you. Well, that's one way of flanking him, I guess. And los he's just gonna gonna run in that direction now. Blew up this? No. Did we? Well, you're telling me I have a flank on that guy right now. I should probably take the shot at that sniper, right? If I if I see him flanked. Can some run again, right? So I can take three shots at you or at you. Um, basically, my main concern is how do we get rid of that sniper now? Or how do we at least trigger his overwatch so we don't have to worry about it? I don't think it will trigger the overwatch, but let's, let's see. Okay, okay, lightning reflexes, that tells me it does trigger. Uh, well, that's not great. The only way to reliably get him is to just do that. Or I could... I guess I can face walk. Son of a bitch. 
Ooh, that's not good. Shit. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Yeah. Did I check what you have for shots? Nothing. Okay. It's a, it's a kind of disappointing sample size. I think it's time to bring you other stuff. about that. Forgot you did that. Um, does that all also trigger if we kill him? Hopefully not. Houston, mamy problem. Okay, so far no signs of that last group. Um, we'll need to... at least heal here. Los, to get rid of the burning. I could also drop a new shield on, onto her. I just don't think the group's gonna be over there, right? We had two groups in that area. I think we're safe there from any yellow alert sh shots. Been off dem Weg. Just gonna move in that direction. Um. Understood. Follow me. There. Well, it's still on a pretty long cooldown. Heading out. Just Stand up there. The loot that I'm missing out on? No. Okay. Let's go. Allons-y. Wish me luck. Bring them on. Found them. Well, look who it is. I didn't show who they activated on. Just yeah, concealed here. Medic. I guess I guess they saw Jason. Must have. Da noch mehr von ihnen. Okay, and we got the reinforcements. All right. Now we're looking for teleportation shenanigans one more turn. Face walks on cooldown, so I guess you're not helping with that group. I mean, you're sure you, you're innovated, so you will do a little bit of less damage. Six damage on that mech. And that whole elevated thing, it's. It's missing a counter, a cure, anything you can do to get rid of that debuff.
I'm going in. Yeah. Running gun available. Wasn't there a custodian or something? I think he, he ran inside. He's somewhere here. Like if I can get line of sight on him, I might be able to skulljack that. Um You can get Lana side and custodian and maybe kill the mech. It's not, not an unreasonable request, right? Be right there. Engaging the enemy. Maybe that Lana side part is not as easy as I thought. Oh. Wonderful. Hitting part is also not quite working out. Exhausted, and so am I. Well, guy, what? Gonna give us any new information here? I need a spot that I can blue move to that gives me line of sight on the Pathfinder so I can swap a duo weapon. I don't think that spot is, exists. What of a blue move? Who tiles away from getting a flank on a running gun here? We don't have any shots here, so let's use you. To scout for the custodian, which sounds like a really terrible idea to do with your sniper. I mean, it's, it's On the move. Do it in, in blue moves. No. Yeah, okay. Found him, got him. Got the t-shirt. What's my backup plan uh, if I don't get the kill here, if I don't get the 70%? Well, turns out backup plans are for jumps. I hate you, XCOM. I hate you just a little bit. Okay. Um, backup plans are actually kind of kind of necessary at this point. Well, 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 if it isn't once again the consequences of my own actions coming to haunt me. Um, You can move somewhere. Where you can see the dude. Is that a position where you can also see Rebecca? And she can swap with you? The interface would just allow me to check that. Mm. I don't I don't think so. No.
Oh, this guy, this guy sees her, right? Can you see that guy? What if we improve line of sight in this area a little bit? Back here. You now see these spots? Yes, you can. Okay, so you move you in that corner. Let's position you with our scientist. Which allows you then to insanity the pathfinder. Okay. Is that solving all our problems? No. Maybe, since we got the full mind control. Some reinforcements coming in. All right, um, you gotta you gotta shield yourself. That's that's not yourself. Just saying. Uh, you gotta shield him. It's yourself. Yeah. Okay. Then what? Maybe just hide upstairs. Maybe we go here so that this guy cannot come in and kill me. Stick and move. Getting it done. That was a good hit. That was a really good hit, but... Ooh. There's no way I can rely on another, like, 30-something percent crit on that. To just take him out this turn. I don't think that's... I don't think that's a smart move here. Um, what's the worst you can do? Get the flechette launches. Which does not end your turn. Pistol. Uh, kind of more about grenades with you. Like, you don't have the super scary short range weapons, I guess. So maybe you just group up and, and hope to bait grenades so he doesn't shoot too much. Ah, 
show me what you got. It's bio guys, a sentry, and I think a shield, chili boy. Guardian. Almost had him. It's still moving. Is it too late to be one of those fighter pilots? That's not as scary as I thought it would be. <laughs> really not as scary at all. What the hell was that even? Uh, okay. Let's, let's see that we can clean up here. Good all that one. Ready. We're doing against these two guys, yeah. Not sure yet. What are we doing against? Oh, I guess I guess you have good shots, ish. I might have winged him. That's the reinforcements clean up, I guess. Right, it's just chunky boy. In that that aim modifier. Mark. I didn't check if there was something worthwhile in that in that thing there to hack. But I think it's too late for that. And I think we'll be fine. Let's keep it moving. Hello. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. All right, lost to rebels. I think I was I was scared of, of losing more. I was actually thinking we might lose like half the rebels and end the device. So you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Also, um, unmovable sovereign plus teleport. I certainly hope our propaganda effort is not funded from my research budget. 
that's a lot of extra actions and so much you can do with that. Teleporting a single soldier halfway across the map and basically taking out a full group of five. Despite the destruction left in their wake, XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful to the elders for their... Executed to the highest standards. Excellent work, Commander. Right. Looks like Renata is going to be tired for a bit. But yeah, I was kind of, kind of pushing the tea drinkers a little bit there. So yeah, they, they got deserve a break. Um, any officer that needs some extra training? No. Cool. Carry on then. Well, also looks like we have two spare rebels. So we still have 13 people on Intel and we can continue kind of trying to find troop columns, supply rates coming in, UFOs landing, all those fun little missions. Right, for now though, let's build that relay here. Setting course for Sector 11, West Africa. Commander, yeah, I get it, I get it. To make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. I should take down the facility in Eastern Europe. Um, I was going to say at some point, maybe, maybe that's really just a matter of uh, you really should do that now. Let's wait for the covert action here to finish. Alright. Our cooperation has proven to be a boon to the resistance. Kinda kinda got my attention there. Um I think the intense training for AIM might be the best thing we have right now. Although I'm not really sure who to do that with. Let me just see. What's the what's the timer? Eight days for supply drop. Wasn't there a stop avatar progress that I wanted to do? Huh. I don't know. This turned out not too terrible. Okay, let's actually first of all check who could do with some extra aim. Maybe I'll make a sword. It's taken a fair number of shots from a distance. I think our snipers have enough aim. Let's use a little bit more. No, yeah, I think I think this is uh, not a terrible idea. My followers will lead this action to victory. Tactical Illyrium new. 100 supplies, yeah, we can spare that. 15 crystals, hurts. Two cores, yeah, plenty. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. That might even take priority over the other stuff. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander.
Yeah, so we've got one more facility lead here. Let's I get that out of that the door. Important task, Commander. And Advent Troop Transport, but eight days, eight hour timer. That's nuts. That's a nuts good. Uh, let's see where, where it's coming from. Uh, I could even, because I don't like flying back and forth. Now, I think with 26 hours, we should fly back and forth. Setting course for Sector 10, Eastern United States. It is heavy, so it's coming from one of the, the high strength regions, but I think we're gonna, gonna have the people to deal with that. So... Tea drinkers need a break. I kinda wanna bring these loose guys, but I think Crash is in officer training, I think. No, uh, that's the... No, he's infiltrating. He's helping out with a different group. Um, is see he here? No. Is he on that smash and grab? Yes. Okay, so here's the idea. You know, I technically don't have endless amounts of intel, but whatever. We boost this. Wait seven hours. It's down to seven enemies. Screw seven hours, we just launch it. Seven enemies. What? Extremely light? Ah, free XP. Um... Yeah, but that's going to be in the next episode. Quickly, before the game decides it's more than seven enemies, get out of here, take the save game. And next session, I'll, I'll do a quick and dirty smash and grab with seven enemies, and then we throw Crash with his squad on that supply raid. Killing off advent strength whenever we get a chance. It's still, we've got 93 strength on the map. Like... Killing them in supply rates, one strength at a time. It's gonna take a while. But yeah, then we also probably start infiltrating one of the facilities next time too. For now, I'm gonna put a cut in here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.